Just arrived at the Rio Grande Valley. I'm at Benson State Park. I want to see a green jay, Kiskadee, and just learned at the visitor center that the hooked bill kite is in the area. This is the very northern edge of its range and fairly rare. So I hope I see that and we'll see what else I can find. I'm in a bird blind and there's a big flock of turkeys and javelina. I'm gonna try to show you by sticking the camera out the window. I was thrilled to be able to get the pictures of the green jay I wanted. This is going to sound crazy, but I'm going to pick up this uh, tin can. It seems like any time I go and pick up trash, Mother Nature tends to reward me by showing me some of her secrets. So, got it. I think this is a tortoise that I just came upon. I'll kind of sit down and see if we show him the background. Maybe I'll get a selfie with him. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, there he goes. How cool is that? Day two, just getting started, second location, a lot of black-bellied whistling ducks, you can hear them in the background, kind of an interesting place, used to be farmland, we converted it to a wetlands, and uh, birds obviously love it. I have attempted to identify all the creatures in this video with a key at the end with a time code and the names. I've been trying to get a picture of a puff-bellied hummingbird. He's comes about every 20 minutes to this cactus behind me. I'm just he's fast and I'm not as fast. sitting here and watch some of the shorebirds in this small pond. They've become very accustomed to me and gotten very close, so it's kind of fun and nice. So they say a bobcat's been showing up here every morning for the last week trying to catch a duck. The question is, do I need to come down here tomorrow morning? I think the answer is yes. I'm here early, all set up. Now I just need the bobcat to show up. <laughs> well, I saw the bobcat. Tried to get a duck so fast it was almost impossible to see him. Kind of a joke that I thought I could get a picture of him. But anyways, let's go see if we can find some more birds. There were a lot of beautiful Harris's hawks. This cormorant caught an armored catfish, which is an invasive species. This was the first time I've ever seen a green kingfisher. She was beautiful.
I thought I'd missed my chance to get a picture of the bobcat because I missed it at the uh, or by the visitor center. I was out walking and I got one and I'm so excited I'm shaking. So uh, let me show you what I got. I was over here taking pictures of butterflies on the mist flower and uh, somebody stopped by and said there's a paraki just down the path so uh, let me see if I can find it. They're not easy to see because they're very well camouflaged. This was also the first time I ever saw a paraki. There's a screech owl in the owl box over there. and Unfortunately, I can't see him right now. We're gonna kinda stay here for a while and see if he'll poke his head out. The screech owl is out. I waited over an hour for the screech owl to look out. And then I had to wait an additional 20 minutes for the wind to blow the yopans out of the way. This morning I'm out looking for the hooked bill kite, which is a tree snail eater. Didn't even know they existed, but I'll show what they look like. We have lost over 50 species of tree snails in the last century. That's one every other year. I was thrilled to see the hook-billed kite. Many people come to visit and don't have the privilege of seeing one. Back in the park lot, time to go home. Wanted to say thanks for all those subscribers. Went from 28 to 180 almost in a year. And if you like the channel, uh, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. It helps drive viewership. So thanks and look forward to seeing you on our next adventure.